Hi guys. Well, I had a bit of a boo-boo. I did start making a video today. But then I accidentally deleted the whole lot, thinking I'd only deleted one scene. Oops on me. So, I'm going to start again, use up what battery I've got on the camera. And, uh, explain what I've been up to today. So, we're going to start, we're going into the bedroom. Uh, da -da -da -da. Um, I've had the, D the um, Dell Dimension 4600, which is this one, out, and it is fixed. The um, problem of it not booting up is fixed, and it was a very simple fix. With the um, dimensions on the back, there's four little lights that light up, four little LED lights, and they're labelled A, B, C, and D. The actual the letters actually light up, and um, I noticed because it was an intermittent problem. When I put it in the kitchen, it did actually power up fine. Then I turned it off, added a video card, wouldn't boot up. Took the video card out, unplugged the floppy drive, just to see, you know, if there's a power drain or something, booted up. Plugged the floppy drive back in, didn't boot up. <laughs> so I was suspecting right there that it mu must be an intermittent power issue. Then I noticed the lights on the back, or remembered the lights, so when it failed to power up, or boot up, I looked at the back, and the letter B was yellow, and they should, all four should be green. If all four are green, the system's working fine. But B was yellow. So, I don't know what the error codes were, so I went on Google and Googled it, and it turns out that my suspicions of the um, power supply being faulty was correct. <laughs> Um, that error code does mean a um, faulty power supply. So, the um, original power supply, it was the original one, it was an original Dell 200 watts um, power supply. I took that out and I decided to look in my kitchen cupboard where all the power supplies are for a um, 350 watt power supply. I thought I might as well upgrade it, I've got to change it anyway. So I might as well throw something better in, you know. So I did that. Um, and it's turned on and off every time since. So the intermittent problem has gone. So it's now down here. It's all connected up. Um, the other things I did, I added a second hard drive, a slave drive. Just because I could. I've got the hard drives there, I thought I might as well. And... I've, to uh, NVIDIA GeForce 6200 256 megabytes of DDR1 memory um, video card in there just because I could. So technically I've actually got two machines down there fully capable of um, playing video games of that era. Well mind you, the one in the middle, the one I built, is going to be a heck of a lot better as that's the dual core with um, 2 gigabytes of DDR2 memory. And I can't remember what the vid, um, video card is apart from it being an ATI. Um, I must remember to turn that power socket off, the training socket down there. Because uh, there's a temperamental connection on the, the um, Optiplex GX60 here. If I move that, that would lose connection, and it did that when I was trying to boot it up, because I was trying to get that in a tidy position. So yeah, I'm going to change that for two brand new six-way extension sockets. I'll need two, because I've got a few extra bits I want to plug in up here. Uh, possibly that for interwebs. Uh, if I can find somewhere to put it. And if I can... <laughs> Get a cable long enough, and I've got this blue one here that goes all the way to there. But I don't know if it's gonna, or how far it's gonna go around to here. I know it'll go up to there, so I could put a shelf up there if I wanted to. Uh, I'll think of something. So it's got to be far enough out from the wall because of the um, power supply. 
And I can't stand it up on end because of the airflow, so it's got to lay like that. Ideally, I could do with it laying on here, to be honest, because there's a lot more room, but... <sighs> I don't know, I'll have to think of something. I don't think I can hang it on the wall. No, nope, there's nothing on here to... There's these cutouts cut here with holes in. I don't know if I could... Uh take the cover off and screw it to the wall that way, that would make life a heck of a lot easier. Although well, that's a bit heavy so I don't think that would work on that wall. Um, apart from that and just tinkering around and playing with some Lego. Well by playing I mean I've been creating that Lego fire station for the sea. I haven't really done a lot. The other thing I've got to do is um, sort audio out for the 4600 because the Sony Vio is connected to the mono speakers and my gaming rig is connected to the Dell speakers. But what I'm going to do, I've got to get some um, specific cables. A few more of these. Because I've got this switch that I got from the recycle centre. So I can have two inputs one output and I can just switch between the two inputs but like that with the switch on the front there. So that would rest there, that's about the only place I've got to put it unless I put it over the back there if the cables reach. But uh, what I need is one of these cables. They've got the two RCA connectors on one end and I think that's a 3.5 mil connector on the other end. So this end would go in the back of the computer and the other ends will plug in with the corresponding colours on the back there and one's labelled CD, one's labelled tuner but it doesn't matter, it'll work with these PCs as well. Um, then of course on the output, those two and that one in the back of the monitor. And I can switch between the two PCs and I wouldn't have to worry about adding in them. Um, an extra pair of speakers or a big old audio amplifier or anything like that because I don't really need anything like that over here. I could. I've got the amplifiers but yeah, it's just more bloody electric to use isn't it? Just to get all fancy when I don't really need to get that fancy to be honest do I? That's the same with that. That's going to use electric although I'd only turn that on when I'm playing with the computers in here because um, if I was going to put this on a shelf say up there I was going to put an outlet underneath it so I could just switch it on and off. <clears throat> so yeah, that's the plan. Um, the only other option I've got is one of these. <laughs> um, well, I've got two of them actually. Three of them if I count the one that's already on the wall. That one will stay there, because whatever way I do things, I can, uh, well I'll still need that for the other older computers that are going to go up that corner. So apart from the 4600 not having audio connected, and no internet set up up this corner yet and it's pretty much done. If I turn everything on, it powers up, you know, I'll show you quickly because I am running out of battery. I'll pick on that one. It'll boot up. I've got my KVM switch under there, you can just see the light flashing. And you just flick that little button on the front there and you can switch between all four computers if I had all four running at the same time. At most might have two at most but mostly it'll just be just the one and that automatically detects which one's um, been turned on anyway so I haven't got to worry about anything like that either. Oh shit in hell that's heavy. It's heavy for one hand anyway. It's so I can't believe how quiet these Dell machines are as well. Because they're both running the original Dell fans. Which I do have spare of in a couple of boxes under there. <clears throat> I 
I can barely hear the hard drives ticking actually. <laughs> yeah, that's got a, um, I can't remember what the main drive is. We'll have a look if the battery lasts. But I know the slave drive's only a 40 gig. Still. I was actually talking to a friend earlier about Windows XP. And um, he said it was a great operating system. And I said it's not was a great operating system. To me, it still is. Because it's, I could actually, you know, go online with it even today. I still do all the basic sort of web browsing and YouTubing and whatnot, and it'll still function absolutely fine. Because um, at the moment, <laughs> Firefox and whatnot still supports XP, so so does Adobe and whatnot. So I could install all that. AVG Antivirus still supports it. It's out of date because these haven't been connected to the internet. So, you know, if I really... If you really want to, you could still use Windows XP if you're a light user. Um, gaming, though, probably not so much. Um, well, it'd be perfect for older gamer, or a light gamer. A very light gamer. <laughs> now, most of these are sort of Windows XP era games, or older, so... I can still run them perfectly fine. But if you're a hardcore gamer and XP is really no good and you wouldn't have much choice but to upgrade. Because uh, I do believe the most RAM Windows XP can handle is about 2 gigabytes of DDR2. And I do believe the highest processor Windows XP can run is a dual core. I actually know that for a fact, because uh, my one's running it down there. That's what my gaming rig's running. It's what the laptop... No, sorry, the laptop in the lounge is running DDR2 memory, but I believe it's a single core processor. Right, yeah. I've got the Sony Vio, which is pretty much my um, multimedia rig. Got the um, DVD and VCR there connected to it, so eventually I'll uh, start putting videotapes to uh, the PC. I've got all those VHS tapes there and whatnot, so I could easily transfer it across. What you can do, you can actually. Um, for personal use, you can transfer something from one media to another. You are actually allowed to do that. But what you can't do, due to copyright laws, is sell it. <laughs> so as long as I did it for my own personal use, then that's pretty much all right. But uh, I couldn't, like, copy DVDs, for example, and then go and sell them. But... Uh, I suppose technically you could make backups, you know, of a DVD in case it breaks. So you could store the digital copy on your PC and if your DVD disc breaks, the genuine one, then you could, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to um, put it onto a DVD, a new one, you know, burn a new one, as it would technically be for personal use. itchy back. Oh yeah. Oh, right there. <laughs> oh, camera panning is too fast. Right. I had burgers, and beef burger and chips from the chip shop and found out that Nemo actually likes beef burgers. <laughs> Uh, what am I going to do with all them? There's nothing really interesting there. Is do I just ditch them? It's probably the best thing for them, I think. Oh, excuse me. Well, 
Stepdad said he would pick me up in the morning when he drops Mum off at work because he's got an appointment in Norwich. Um, so we'll see. I will get up before 10 o'clock. And uh, well, if I hear a horn too outside, then I know he's turned up. If I don't, then I know he hasn't. <laughs> anyway, I think it's time to uh, shut the camera down. I've got two Lego review videos to go and stick on the PC as well, so I'm going to go and do that. Before I go to bed. So, uh, yeah, we haven't. Oh, the other thing I noticed, the electrician came back today and fixed the other um, other two outside lights. I don't know if the floodlight is still working, but it was working when you put a bulb in this morning. But uh, this orange, amber, whatever you want to call it, streetlight thing on the corner there, right there, is working now. They're not going to be in the building much longer, but now they decide to get the lights fixed. Don't see the point myself, but never mind. Anyway, I guess that is it. Really haven't done a lot. Would have been a better video if I hadn't deleted the bleeding footage. I actually thought I'd only selected the one. I didn't realise I'd deleted the whole lot. <sighs> what a prat. <laughs> Oh well, thanks for watching, yeah, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you've got any comments leave them down below and uh, if you want to please subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you all in the next video, bye.